Mayank, good evening. And your interview date has been announced? No, sir. They have told that they will announce on Friday. On Friday. Very good. Excellent. You are now from NIT Suratkal Surat. or yes. Suratkal? Very good. Yes. And your major is some geo something, na? What is that? Yes, uh, construction technology and management. In civil construction. engineer. Civil engineer. Good, good, good. This is second time we are meeting, na? Yes, first time, sir. First time, Acha. Mayank is meeting for the first time. Mayank, can you please yes, tell me about yourself? Sir, thank you, sir, for allowing me to introduce myself. My name just, is Mayank Sahan. And yeah, I am just, yeah. Yeah, it is being I, recorded. Continue. Continue. Sorry. Okay, sir. Start so from the name, beginning. Yeah. Okay, sir. Thank you for allowing me to introduce myself. My name is Mayank Chahan and I am from Dehradun, Uttarakhand. Currently, I am pursuing MTech in Construction Technology and Management from NIT Suratkal. And I have done my graduation with first division honors in civil engineering from GV Pant Engineering College, Padi Gadwal. And I have done my intermediate schooling from Dune International School and high schooling from St. Thomas Convent School, Padi Gadwal. I do believe that I am a accountable, hardworking and a good problem solver. And in my free time, I like to play football and do workout in gym. Correct. You're telling nicely. Good. Can you please tell us about your family? Uh, I come from a family of four. My father is an administrative officer in mechanical engineering of GV Pant Engineering College, Padi Garwal. My mother is a headmistress in government primary school, Jamlakhal. And my younger brother is doing his graduation in computer science and engineering from Graphic Era Engineering College, Dehradun. Very good. Excellent. Now, uh, tell us about your native place. Uh, sir, I come from Dehradun, Uttarakhand, which is famous for uh, various uh, prestigious, um, uh, various prestigious institution like Mil Indian Military Academy, Rashtriya Indian Military College, uh, Lal Bahadur Sastri Administrative Academy, and uh, and various famous schools like Dune School, Velum Girls School, and many more. Yeah, good. So, what is the what are the crops grown in Dehradun? Are there any industries in Dehradun? Uh, so, uh, so there are not many industries in Dehradun because it is situated in a valley, and mm -hmm. like uh, due to like uh, small size, it uh, to like keep industry, it is very difficult to sustain there. But uh, the crops that are being generally grown are rice, and mm -hmm. like some fruit and fruit, some citric fruits like oranges and lychees. Oh, very good. So Dehradun is a um, uh, sea level or above sea level? Sir, above sea level. Sir. Dehradun comes in Dune Valley, which is under the foothills of Himalayas. Oh, oh. So what is the, how many feet above sea level is there? Roughly? Sir, I, uh, I don't know that much, but let me One see. One minute. Dehradun uh, above sea level. So 640 meters, sir. Uh, 640 meters. Correct, correct, correct. Good. Excellent. That's right. 640 meters means entity that is roughly 2,000 feet above. Yes, sir. Good. Excellent. Now, uh, Mr. Mayank. Yes, sir. What are the achievements made by you? You are remembering from your plus one, plus two stage. Uh, so a few of the achievements are so i uh, i have gone through the uh, ssb of india uh, course 136 uh, in the year 2016 i have qualified and gate examination twice consecutively and uh, i have been the sports captain in my graduation final year and i have played university football uh, many times and i have won various certificates and awards excellent good so that means your favorite sports is football. Yes, sir. In football, which state is uh, topping in our country? Which state is? Um, standing at the top in terms of winning the, uh, say, tournaments and all that. Uh, so mostly the top states are Odisha, West Bengal, and, Beng uh, and Karnataka, sir. These three are like. Karnataka or Kerala? Yes, uh, one minute. Let, let, let me check it up. Football uh, leading states in India. 
Football is also said to be the top sports of states of Goa, Kerala, Manipur and West Bengal. West Bengal is top most. Yes, sir. West Bengal, Maharashtra, Kerala and Karnataka. Yeah. Ka Karnataka, it's not given, doesn't matter. You remember Kerala. Okay. Kerala also. So, you are from Uttarakhand. Uttarakhand, the chief minister's name? So, it's Mr. Pushkar Singh Dhami. Who is your finance minister? Uh, so, finance minister, so I don't remember. Uh, which bank are you having your account? So, in SBI, sir. Who is the chairman of SBI? So, Mr. Khara, I don't... So Dinesh, I Kumar spent... Karra. Ah, Dinesh Kumar Karra. Dinesh Kumar Karra. Good. Sir, uh, my question is, if uh, I don't remember the full name, can I like... No, if you tell don't it? remember, you tell whatever remember, you remember, you can tell. Otherwise, okay. you can choose to say, sorry, sir, I don't remember. Okay, sir. Like, I remembered only Mr. Karra. Then not Dinesh the Kumar name. Karra. Dinesh okay. Kumar Karra, you can tell. Or if you say Karra only also, they won't mistake. At least this one, you know. Huh? That's right. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, Mr... Mayank. Yes, sir. What do you know about this job? Uh, sir, the job role is of uh, management of officer in... Sir, of, the job role is of man, officer in junior management grade 1. And the key responsibilities are customer acquisition, business survey, augmentation of para-banking income, and to ensure that the customers... Uh, uh, are personally to personally attend the customers who visit the branch and assisting them in bank operation and functions and handling uh, retail operations like cash operation management managing on-site and off-site atm learn people management and working towards the business targets of the branch but now can you tell me the present banking scenario in our country how many types of banks are there what are yeah. they yeah. So there, there are three types of banks, uh, public sector bank, private sector bank, and foreign banks. Hmm. Can you uh, tell much some more details about them? So, so the public sector bank are those banks in which the government shares are more than 51%. Per and in private sector bank, the government shares are less than 51%. And in foreign uh, banks, the go government does not hold any. The government is not accountable for foreign banks. Oh, no, no. But you can tell like this. Public sector bank is one where government shareholding is 51% and above. In the case of um, private sector bank, the um, private sector or other group of individuals or, or firms have more than 50% capital. Government may or may not have capital in the foreign banks are those banks that are registered in foreign banks, in foreign countries. Okay. That is right. Apart from this, the question is a broad question. You should have, you, you could have continued and told me so public sector banks 12 in number, private sector banks 21 in number. Then I don't know how many foreign banks are there. If you go to RBI site, you will know that. Then you can also tell about, uh, say, the uh, regional rural banks, small service bank, payment banks cooperative banks like that all those details you can add because the, the question i asked was a very detailed question tell the present banking scenario in our country very rarely they ask like that they have so asked like, once uh, in this question we can start like uh, from rbi for the, the rbi is yeah the, yeah excellent excellent and then that from... rbi rbi is the central bank of our country you can tell like that okay sir. Now, please tell me what is the role of RBI? What uh, are the sir, functions so of RBI? The few functions of the RBI are, it acts as a banker's bank, which provides loans and funds to the commercial banks, uh, commercial bank to the, uh, of the country. It acts as a bank to the government. It acts as a, uh, it acts as a guardian for foreign currencies, foreign exchanges. It acts as, uh, uh, as a keeper of rules and regulation of financial sector in our country. And it also drafts monetary policy and manages uh, liquidity in, into the currency, liquidity into the system, financial system. So what do you know about repo rate? In what way 
it is used by RBI. So, repo rate is a tool to manage uh, liquidity in uh, in the economy. Uh, repo rate is a rate in which uh, RBI lends money to the commercial bank, and the current repo rate is four point five percent. You should tell for short term. Yes, sir. For short term. Say zero to so one to fourteen days, something like that. Okay. Yes, sir. Good. So fourteen. What is the present repo rate? Sir, it is four point five percent. Mayank, what is the present repo rate? So four point five percent. No. What you are telling is not a repo rate. It is something else. Repo rate is six point five zero. Yes, six point five percent. What you told four point five. Which rate is four point five now? I think it's reverse repo rate. No, no. CRR. Cash yes, reserve. Sir. Yes, sir. Cash reserve CR... ratio is four point five. How much is SLR? Sir, eighteen percent. Good. And you said a reverse reverse repo. What is the percent reverse repo? So I think it's three percent. Three point three five. Okay. And percent SD of standing deposit facility is six point two five. Okay. I think we discussed this two days back in the class, ma'am. Yes, sir. Two three I days back. Confused. Yes, yes. Yeah. What is the present bank rate? I don't six point seven five, and okay. the MSF rate is also six point seven five. I have discussed this in detail in a class two three days back. You can okay, also sir. search in Google and get to know that. Okay. Sir. Very good. So, this job involves sixty percent marketing. Are yes, you? Do you like marketing? Do you like requesting people yeah. and um, making them accept your ideas and all? Do you like it? Uh, so, as a, I come from a technical background and from core branching, core core engineering, so I don't have that much of uh, exposure to marketing. But uh, I do believe that I have good communication skills and good presentation skills, which are uh, required for marketing and sales. So, I do think that it can come handy. No, no. You don't have to tell the first part of your answer. I am coming from technical. I do not have. Don't tell any negative points in our interviews. Okay. Can you please tell me what is the source of income for a banking institution? So the uh, the main source of income is generated through the interest given on interest received on uh, loans and advances given by the bank. And the few other sources of income are the services provided by the bank, like uh, lockers, rental lockers, uh, and, uh, and like uh, and the other services like credit cards, debit cards. And now you can also tell charges for commission on insurance policies, canvas, mutual fund products sold. Yes. Then. You can also tell banks invest in government securities, so they get interest on government securities. Banks do invest in shares of limited yes. companies, so they get dividends. And uh, when the shares are sold, they get an increase in prices and all that. Incidentally, yes. what is the present position of Bomb um, Bombay Stock Exchange Sensex? For today, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Today, just now uh, it has changed, right? You are, what is the rate? You know what is the present position? You know. Yesterday, uh, you know the yesterday's rate. No, sir, not yesterday, but today. You you should have learned that before coming for the interview. At least okay, yesterday's sir. rate, seventy three thousand. It was last sir, it was, rate. Today, today it was around say, seven. Last time I checked, it was around seventy one thousand. Five hundred. Now it is seventy-one thousand five hundred. Yes. Today the Sensex has come down by thousand six hundred and twenty-eight points. In other words, two point two three percent. Even our Federal Bank share price has come down. One minute. Yeah. Next ball. Hello. Yes, sir. Uh, please come to Zoom.
Okay, you don't want it today? Oh. Achha, when, which date you would like to have it? You message me. Thank you. Oh, good. Mayank, I have given you five o'clock time. I didn't see that. Doesn't matter. The, okay. the, the fellow who called me is 430 boy. <laughs> yeah, good. Mayank, Mayank, Mayank. You are a very studious boy. You have been answering very well. And only some areas you don't remember. That is right. What is the question I asked about uh, share market and the share yeah. price of this um, federal, bank. federal bank also? And uh, now I, I hope you are aware that the third quarter results have been announced. Yes, Can you sir. tell some points about that? So in the third quarterly result, net profit of federal bank was 1,007 crore, which grew up by 27.28%. And the operating profit uh, was uh, 1,437 crores. And the total deposits increased by uh, 19%, which, uh, which is equal to 2.39 lakh crores. And the total advances increased by 18.44%, which is 1.9 lakh crores. And the uh, uh, gross, net, uh, gross NPA is 2.29% and net NPA is 0.64%. Correct. Good. Excellent. Very nice. You have been able to tell me nicely. Um, what is a scheduled bank? Uh, sir, scheduled bank are those banks which come under uh, uh, RBI Act of 1934, I think. Uh, the uh, banks. Yes. Second schedule of RBI Act 1934. Yes, sir. Second. In those days, the condition was the banks should have a paid up capital and reserves of 5 lakhs. Okay. But now, if you want to start a private sector bank, you have to have minimum capital of 500 crores. Okay. And for if you want to start a small finance bank, you require a capital of 200 crores. If you want to start a payment bank, you require a capital of 100 crores. So this is okay. what it is. And uh, not all ba payment banks will be included in second schedule. Some banks are included. For example, Paytm Bank has been included in the second schedule of RBI Act. Okay. And um, the small service bank, they are also small banks. Service banks are also included in the second schedule of RBI Act. Can you okay. tell me, Mayank, who is the regulator of insurance sector in India? Oh, sir, I don't know. IRDAI. Okay. Insurance Regulatory Development Authority of India. It has got its uh, headquarters in Hyderabad. The chairman's name is Debosish Panda. Okay. Now, the stock exchanges, mutual funds, they are being monitored or supervised by which authority? As a SEBI, I think. Correct. Who is the chairman of SEBI? Uh, think, sir, it Mrs. Is, uh... Mrs. Madhabi Puri Booch. Okay. In fact, just uh, half an hour back, I gave uh, Micah link and I want I have referred page number 41 of November issue that will give you the details of people in offices. Office. Like... Uh, like um, president, vice president, etc., etc. Okay. okay, can you name five union ministers and their cabinets? Uh, so the five union ministers were are for the Ministry of Defense. It is uh, Mr. Uh, Rajnath Singh. Ah, uh, Mr. Rajnath Singh. For Home Minister, it is Mr. Amit Shah. For Minister of uh, External Affairs, it is uh, Mr. S. J. Shankar. And for uh, Women and Child Development, it is Mrs. Smriti Rani. And for Education Minister, it is Mr. Dharmin Prada. Good. Excellent. Can you tell me three headlines of today's newspaper? Um, okay. I have not read. You have to study that. Or yesterday's news? Yes, sir. Please, study, 
please study I can tell you and... like uh, current affairs uh, like i have studied about like uh, red sea and uh, israel <laughs> versus hamas and india that is right Hamas. that also they will ask uh, but this one sometimes they ask like this okay, what sir. do you study today like and that to your interview in the evening means definitely they will ask okay sir so before going for the interview you must check the newspaper uh, if you can trap while traveling in auto or car itself you can see through your cell phone also okay and today the headline i saw was pragyananda has been made is the topper in the world as far as chess is concerned and one more news also um, i read uh, um it just now i am seeing china's population is coming down okay china's population is coming down and then like that you can just see some in in shorts.com like that and get to know up to date news and then go what is the news about ayodhya Uh, so the ayodhya temple ram temple is going to be inaugurated on 22nd january by pm very, modi excellent good very nice so who is your governor is uh, uttarakhand governor so uh, mr gurmeet sir ah uh, another important news i read now is the the which currency is top most among other countries it is kuwaiti dinar Okay. Kuwaiti dinar is the strongest currency, and U.S. dollar comes in tenth position, and Indian rupee is coming in fifteenth position. This is the news. You just okay. remind me about it in tonight class nine fifteen so that we can tell. Okay. Very good. Best wishes. Thank you. We will meet okay. again after your interview date is known. Okay, sir. Thank you. You did well. but sometimes it is purely luck you know some questions yes. which you don't know i am asking it is not intentional but it happens yes sir so i i will learn like uh, the financial data and like different current yeah. affairs and very good best wishes thank you you did well okay. thank you sir